This is going to be my video review of the Textbill Handmade Cowhide Leather Sava Laptop Briefcase Messenger Bag Fit 15 inch laptop. This is another excellent leather bag made by Textbill. Um, the bag itself is a beautiful leather bag. It's made of what they call their crazy horse leather, which is essentially a treated leather without the finishing that makes it feel kind of plastically or rubbery. It is instead a leather that's meant to be thrown around, it's going to build a couple scratches, and over time kind of show its age and age, I guess, with dignity. The top of the bag itself is probably its most defining feature, is this very, very square piece up here. It also has this beautiful contrast stitching that goes all the way around. My first concern when I got this bag was whether or not the shape would hold up. Being that it is leather, it is something that is going to change with time, get softer, and be a little bit more pliable. Taxpo has nicely addressed this by adding, first of all, a reinforced piece of leather that also has this nice contrast stitching. And underneath this piece of leather is a solid piece of what feels like metal or some sort of solid reinforcement bar that's going across and goes to full thickness across and is also the full height of this top piece and will keep this bag from losing its shape. The handle of the bag itself, which is for me one of the most critical components of the bag because as you start to use this bag over time and use them more, the areas where a bag is going to fail is either the handles or the strap and then suddenly you can't use the bag anymore. This handle itself is made of two folded over pieces of leather with a third piece of leather wrapped around then stitched on. It's beautifully stitched with the same reinforced um, contrast stitching here. This contrast stitching you'll see is a theme as you go throughout the bag and it is just absolutely beautiful. It stands out so nicely against the color of this leather. This top strap here is held on with two nice metal rings and then there are two leather straps that are both sewn and also riveted on. This is a strap with so much reinforcement that I cannot imagine how it would ever be a point of failure for this bag. Now the front of this bag itself comes with what appear to be, at first glance, two leather strips that are actually buckles, but underneath it shows a real nice latch system here. This is a really well-made latch it clicks in very, very nicely and crispy, crisply, and it's not really a piece that is gonna be another point of failure for this bag either. This latch just kind of slides in and out, and it has a decent amount of heft to it, in that I don't think they sourced you know, the cheapest possible latch that they could find to put into this leather bag. The latch itself is also tied on, or sewn on, excuse me, with another leather strip itself. If you open up the bag here, this front flap is probably for leather geeks the best part of this bag. The best feature of this bag is the fact that this is full thickness leather and you can really feel this leather on the inside here. It also gives you an idea that this is a full thickness, fully dyed piece of leather. This isn't something where they took dye and kind of rubbed it along the edges. You can see the dye as it kind of goes through. You can see kind of that it's not completely even all the way across, showing that this is probably something that was natural rather than artificially made. And the inside, I mean, this leather you just can't fake. You know that this is high quality leather you're getting. The bag itself, before we go further in, also has this nice little back zipper pocket. It is, like every other zipper in this bag, a very well-made zipper with a nice little leather pull and great teeth. It has a nylon interior that is um, water resistant and also will just hold up great to time. I like these pockets not lined with nylon rather than the leather material just because Things spill in the bag all the time, and it's just so much easier to clean than worrying about, you know, this leather and whether or not you're going to damage it or dye it or, you know, anything else. The zipper pocket itself, I think, is key because you can throw stuff in here and zip it, and it's right against your body, and you don't have to worry about it being exposed to thieves or any pickpockets. Um, the one downside of this zipper is it's not quite wide enough for you to throw papers into and hold it up which would have been a nice little plus, but I think, you know, you either get one or the other, and the way they built it with this other pocket, I do enjoy the design. Inside the bag, you'll find two very large 
front pockets. These uh, square pockets are made of the exact same leather and they are sewn on on the outside. So there's a front large piece of leather here, a big square with two pockets sewn on. In the inside, exact same nylon material, though along the back you do feel the raw leather of the front piece. Um, these pockets are, you know, large enough that you could pretty much just kind of throw whatever you need to. Um, I imagine I'll probably be using these front pockets more so for the chargers of whatever, you know, laptop, tablet, or whatever I have in here. And the second pocket would probably be, you know, cell phones, pens, random things I'm gonna throw in here. It has the exact same zipper top, um, exact same well-made zipper with a leather pull on the inside of the bag now. Along the top, you have another zippered area, and this bag is just filled with zippers. And you always worry when you have this many zippers that if one zipper fails, suddenly the bag is useless. And each one of these zippers is very well made. Um, you get the same contrast stitching, so when it's zipped all the way across, it's still beautiful to look at. On the inside, on the photos, it makes it look like there are these separate compartments set up with the middle being for a laptop. Uh, I was really concerned about that before getting the bag because I was really worried that there was just far too many comp compartments for such a small bag. If you actually look at it, this is a separate laptop bag with the same type of leather and contrast stitching that opens up. This holds a 15 inch laptop really nicely. I was able to throw my MacBook Pro into here and held it really well. The one downside is if you do have a 15 inch laptop, keep in mind, not only does it fit into this very snugly, but once it fits into the final bag itself, you don't have a whole lot of room to put other things. Now my 13 inch Mac, um, MacBook Pro or um, Air fit much, much better into here and give me a lot more room to work with. And this bag is soft enough that it really reinforces and holds a 13 inch laptop well without a lot of give and area for it to move around. Inside the bag, without the laptop, holder uh, are two other smaller pockets, uh, great for pens, wallets, whatever else you're gonna throw in the bag, and then an inside zipper pocket as well. This is you know, pretty utilitarian. You could just put things in here. This bag, kind of all together, if you look at it, is just really well made. This is definitely a bag that you're gonna wear with a suit and bring to work. This isn't a casual bag, this is something that it's going to look really nicely in a business environment. Now, one of the concerns I also had with this bag was the strap. Kind of like I was talking about the handle here. Straps tend to be other areas where bags fail very, very quickly. And then they're kind of useless at that point, though. The advantage of a strap is you could replace it. The strap that this comes with is very, very well made. It is a, a nylon strap made of pretty tough material with a leather stitched on top over it in the same contrast stitching theme as the rest of the bag. The strap is held on by D-rings, which are held on very, very securely by this leather strap here that is also stitched and riveted on. Uh, it's easier to see on this bag because of the contrast stitching, but I followed all these stitches all the way through and these stitches are very well made. There isn't a stitch that's out of place. It's very obvious that this is machine stitching and not hand stitching, though the quality control is very, very impressive, especially on, around the areas where the leather is probably very difficult to deal with. The stitching is perfectly lined in from the outside and doesn't appear to be any defects in the manufacturing. This bag itself along the bottom, if you look here, is also reinforced with another leather square here. Um, and then along the back is just a solid piece of leather. This, this for someone who loves a leather bag and wants one that's gonna build some of that character and have this look that was made really popular by Saddleback, but without paying those prices, this textbook bag is a great choice. And you can get it at probably a quarter of the Saddleback prices with almost the exact same level of quality. This is a bag that's gonna last you a long, long time. I can't really imagine this bag failing quickly at all. Again, this is uh, my review of the textile leather briefcase bag, uh, 15 inch for laptops.